in the book of Exodus, chapter 35, today, verses 4 to 9. And here's how it reads. Moses spoke to all the congregation of the sons of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord has commanded, saying, Take from among you a contribution to the Lord. Whoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it as the Lord's contribution, gold, silver, and bronze, and blue, purple, and scarlet material, fine linen, goat's hair, and ram's skins dyed red, and porpoise skins and acacia wood, and oil for lighting, and spices for the anointing oil, and for the fragrant incense, and onyx stones and setting stones for the ephod, and for the breastpiece. So I think you recognize that these are now offerings that are being taken so that they can construct the wilderness sanctuary or tabernacle that we've been speaking of as we've come through the book of Exodus. Uh, what uh, insights do we have here? You might say, well, that sounds kind of boring. I don't think you really have a lot to share with us here. Well, there's a couple things that stand out to me. First of all, the contributions here are voluntary. Nobody's forced to give. Just as God does not force you to worship him, uh, he does not force you to make a contribution. And yet he's calling for contribution. And the people give it willingly. And they're going to give willingly. It will not be forced. Now, another thing here, and this might be kind of hard for you, but uh, did you notice this is not a money? There's not a substitution of money. They're giving actual materials, actual materials. Um, they're not going to give coinage or some kind of uh, debit card or something or make a payment and it's going to go into your account, you know, sending numbers back and forth to different accounts. This is actual ram skins dyed red. This is actual gold, silver, and bronze. It's actual... Uh, blue and scarlet linen, etc. right? So the people are taking from their possessions and they're giving it for the work of the tabernacle. So whenever they, well, that don't, don't you think that would give you a stronger sense of inclusion, of ownership, of I'm part of this? Hey, uh, and you can tell your grandkids, hey, do you know that some of the materials in the sanctuary, in the tent, we gave, we gave all this purple. You know, that's part of our family's thing. We had all this purple, we gave the purple stuff. Uh, that would sort of give you kind of an in, in, include you. You feel like you're more a part of it because your actual stuff was given to construct it. More than just uh, chits, you know, money numbers, digital money numbers handing back and forth. And you don't have the same sense of uh, participation in it when it's all uh, accounting off on the side. There's a place for that, uh, especially in our world today. But in this biblical day, no. This is, uh, this is a little bit different. So anyway, some interesting pieces as we look at now. Uh, now we're into this phase now of constructing and then uh, getting the sanctuary actually, actually cranking up and getting it working. So that's where we're at now, and I'll see you next time.